It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Merry Christmas Eve to all of you out there. Uh, it's great to get to spend Christmas Eve with you. Um, but you know, ahead of time, I will be here tomorrow. It'll probably be a short video, but we will be here. Uh, and it'll be on a Christmas theme, so be prepared for that too. And as to this is today's. Um, did you know that Andy Griffith grew free trees for Boy Scouts on a 50 acre Christmas tree farm? Just told him to pick out your tree. Let's take a look. After the Andy Griffith Show ended in 1968, Andy Griffith attempted to do a couple new series. It didn't pan out. By the 70s, he'd come to a sort of a celebrity who made surprise guest appearances on shows and sometimes did public appearances, but otherwise, <clears throat> he spent most of his time at his beachfront home in Manteo, uh, North Carolina. Sometimes old friends from his nearby home, Mount Airy, would come by and they'd ask him if he regretted leaving home to become an actor when he had shown some promise as a school teacher and ended up back in North Carolina all the same. Told the News and Observer son in 74 that he'd shoot straight whenever someone asked uh, him this foolish question. He'd respond, I'd hate it. I don't know what I would have done without show business. There's nothing like it. To be chosen to play a part is one of the greatest joys in the world. Now, around Manteo, Griffith was public personality, but he was one of those rare celebrities who was known around town for his absence more than his presence, choosing to live a quiet life. He'd often disappear into the woods to fish and hunt, but every now and again he'd be spotted at the beach with his two teenage kids. On rarest occasions, folks would see the former TV sheriff simply strolling down the street. His favorite thing to do at the time, though, was just sit and watch the sunrise over the Roanoke Sound in his backyard. But when he gazed at the horizon, his view was partially obscured. He had to peer over the tops of 53 acres of Christmas trees that he had planted. Because one very visible way that Andy gave back every year to his neighbors in Manteo was at Christmas time, when he would invite Boy Scouts to his beach to pick out a free Christmas tree that he grew just to make their seasons brighter. According to the News and Observer's son, he didn't sell them or anything. He gave them away to the Boy Scouts. You heard of this fellow? Used to play Sheriff Taylor on that TV show? Now, ain't that just like him to go and do that? In the story, Griffith grins, admitting that the Christmas trees did clutter his beachfront view. But we assume that uh, growing all those acres of trees was worth it for him, because every good boy deserves a gorgeous tree. Need proof? Just watch Opie's face light up under the tinseled Christmas tree in the Andy Griffith Show episode, The Christmas Story. Sounds like Andy Taylor, don't it? Andy Griffith. There you go. Say a lot of things about Andy Griffith. He did have a kind of a wild side to him, but there was a lot of Andy Taylor in him. I believe that. I hope you do too. That's all I have for you. As I said, I will be back tomorrow for Christmas. It'll be a short one, and it'll be Christmas themed, so be ready for that. Uh, we are. I do have one over at uh, Classic TV, Facts and Trivia over there today. Uh, it's on Art Carney from the Honeymooners and how he played Santa Claus several times in several shows. Check that out. It's pretty neat. Uh, but it will be off on Sunday as well, or Christmas as well. This will be the only one to be running on Christmas. Um, I hope you guys are ready for your Christmas Eve and your Christmas Day. And if you got time, stop by and see me tomorrow. I would appreciate it. Um, Merry Christmas. God bless. As always, I'm praying for you guys.